Hi, my name is Elijah, and I'm here with the Fun Robotics Network interviewing Team 3197, the Hexhounds. They'll be featured on our Behind the Bumper show with their amazing scoring demonstrations, their amazing autonomous and control systems, and how they climb. You guys will see all this and more on our this segment of Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Kettering University's cutting-edge programs and their experiential co-op model seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds, offering hands-on, feature-focused learning that empowers students to pursue new ideas and inspires other institutions to follow their lead. Don't just be ahead of the curve, create the curve. Get more information at kettering.edu slash first. Anymark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to anymark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. First, we're gonna start off with your guys' climber. So, um, what makes your guys' climber special this year? Um, our climber for this year uh, uses just one motor to lift up the entire robot. Um, we use a bicycle chain because we found that that was light enough and still strong enough. Um, a big constraint this year was losing 10 pounds, especially from last year. And now because of that, we've really tried to do weight reduction. That was our first goal this year, especially with the bike chain and hollowing out the out climber. Another big constraint that we had when we first started designing this climber was we couldn't have it exactly inside or in the center of the robot. We had to make sure that the cage was still on the outside of the robot and it trying to figure out center of gravity. Okay, so um, what kind of times are you guys seeing to climb? Like how long is it taking? So it takes about eight seconds to pull down and then retract back up, but there's a little bit of alignment like everybody else does too. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now um, let's move on. Um, what kind of scoring systems do you guys have on your robot? We have a LG scoring right here, um, which uses no limits. It's just an absolute encoder and a laser can to sense when we have an LG. So we can intake from the ground like that. Um, and then we can go all the way up to the barge. If we're going to show that. Okay, you guys want to show off that scoring? Uh, going up to the barge? Yeah. You can go up to the barge. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and that also allows us to pick up off of the reef anywhere and also put it into the processor. Okay. Um, and I also hear you guys have a coral scoring system. So how do you guys actually score your coral? So we have a rev carbon fiber chute here that feeds from the coral station and it goes into our coral manipulator that is mounted to our two-stage elevator. And then from our elevator, we just bring that right up to any level using a relative, uh, and it can go both horizontal and vertical. Using a relative encoder, we have presets that can bring it up to any level on the Reef. Okay. Um. And have you guys been seeing really good cycle times in that system? Or yes, we have. Okay. Roughly eight second cycle times. Oh, that's great. Okay. So um, moving on, I hear you guys have a lot of automation on this robot. What is that kind of looking like? Yeah. So let's start with the autonomous mode. So for our auto, we have a three-piece auto where we score three L4 coral. So we start in a known position, right? But it doesn't matter if it's off a little bit because as we drive to the first piece, we use three cameras in the front to determine our position on the field. So we have one limelight 3G, then we have two Ardu cams that run to two different orange pies. They all feed into a pose estimator that we have tuned up and running so we can auto align with the reef at every position. We also have during the autonomous mode, when we go to the station to pick up our second and third piece, we have this camera right up here. It uh, detects the piece when it first enters the chute, so then we know we can drive away and we still have the piece in it. It's faster than if we waited for it to get straight to the beam break that we have down here. So it, it allows us to do the three pieces in the time very consistently. Wow, that's amazing. Um, do you have anything else you guys would like to highlight on your autonomous mode or in your programming? Uh, yeah, we also have the lights set up down here. So right now, they're doing the pattern that the climbers hit the limit right down here. But we have a lot of other patterns as well. So when we first grab an algae, they will flash green based on this. We also have them flash a 
more lime green when the coral goes inside the robot. Then when we were holding down the align command as well, they will flash bright yellow when they get fully aligned and they will show pink when they are aligning so we can know that the driver is driving autonomously and he's not driving it. Also, during the autonomous mode for debugging it, we have the lights turn bright blue when it detects a coral inside so we can make sure that the robot actually detected the coral and we can tune it for the next match if we have any issues with it. Wow, that's amazing. You guys have built an amazing machine this year, and it's going to be great to see you guys. Um, and great job on your entire season. Well, uh, good luck to you guys, and that'll be, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Behind the Bumpers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Anymark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Anymark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. Kettering University's cutting edge programs in their experiential co-op model seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds, offering hands-on, future-focused learning that empowers students to pursue new ideas and inspires other institutions to follow their lead. Don't just be ahead of the curve, create the curve. Get more information at kettering.edu first.